think you mean to come after us, counsel? Oh, but I do. In your short term, as Chief Justice, this court, with your narrow majority, has turned back the clock on civil rights, school segregation, equal protection, free speech, abortion, campaign finance. You've been overtly and shamelessly pro-business, making it impossible for some plaintiffs to so much as sue corporations, especially big oil and big tobacco. Somebody's got to go after you. ExxonMobil made over $40 billion in 2007. Forty billion. And yet 19 years after the Valdez oil spill, plaintiffs are still waiting to be fully compensated. Justice Scalia, you want to overturn the verdict altogether because it's not the company's fault that the ship's captain got drunk, but he was a drunk, and they knew it. Perhaps not the best choice to pilot 53 million gallons of crude oil through an environmentally sensitive area. You are getting so far off point. My point is, who are you people? You've transformed this court from being a governmental branch devoted to civil rights and liberties into a protector of discrimination, a guardian of government, a slave to moneyed interests in big business, and today, hallelujah, you seek to kill a mentally disabled man. I'm curious, as a group, how many executions have you all actually witnessed? I'm sorry, that's... It's unfair. I've seen five, and it is the most inhumane, cruel, and unusual hypocrisy of a system that promises to be just. I'll ask you to leave your personal politics out of this case. And I'd ask you to do exactly the same. The Supreme Court was intended to be free and unadulterated by politics. It is now dominated by it. You're handpicked by presidents with ideological agendas. And of the two dozen 5-4 decisions in your 2006-2007 term, 19 broke straight across ideological lines. That's politics. And while you claim to be against judicial activism, you rewrote, uh, check that, invented new law to decide a presidential election, for God's sake. If that's the way it's going to be, then at least have the decency to put your names on ballots like the rest of the politicians, so that we the people get a voice. Mr. Shore, you have said quite enough. Now, you might consider using what little time you have remaining to represent your client instead of your own left-wing agenda. Yes. I absolutely cannot stand up here and ask anybody to excuse the rape of a child. If it were my child, I'd want to shoot the son of a bitch in front of the courthouse. But the more evolved response would be to take into account all the circumstances and to deliberate and decide whether Leonard Sarah truly represents the worst of the worst of humanity for whom we reserve the death penalty. I've been advised by my advisors not to talk about Leonard, but I am going to talk about him because Leonard Sarah is not in any way the worst. Leonard is not a son of a bitch. Emotionally, intellectually, he is a child. Is this really the person to make an example of? Of all the men Louisiana has prosecuted for child rape since the passage of this law, only Leonard has been sentenced to death. Does it strike any of you as fair that the one guy singled out is the one with an IQ of 70? Really? Leonard Serra is black. In Louisiana, historically, it's been blacks that have been executed for rape in non-homicide cases. In the last hundred years, Louisiana has executed 